In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up your default workspace inside of Photoshop to be sRGB for those of you who are wedding photographers or portrait photographers and take your images to labs to have printed, since the majority of labs will actually be working in the sRGB space. You might have taken in some images sometime that you thought were great and ready to go, only to get them back and they're somewhat gray and green and kind of lifeless. That was probably because they were Adobe 98 and the lab was working in sRGB. So a few quick settings in the color settings dialog and we'll fix it so that Photoshop is working for you and will always be working in sRGB and ask you to convert anything that's not in sRGB. So without further ado, go up to edit, down to color settings, then under the working spaces, we want to set that to sRGB. Under color management policies for RGB, we're going to select convert to working RGB and then check all these boxes right here. And what this is going to do is anytime we open an image that's not in our correct working space, which is sRGB, it's going to give us an error message and then ask us if we want to convert. And so it's a good idea to save our settings just in case they get reset to the default. So click save, give it some kind of a name, and then a color settings comment dialog pops up and you can actually give it a description which will appear in the description pane. And then you can see down here in the description pane, it says for lab printing. I'm going to click OK and now watch what happens when I open up an image that's in Adobe 98. I get this embedded mismatch or embedded profile mismatch dialog box saying my the embedded profile for this current image is 98 and I want to convert the document's colors to the working space which we set to be sRGB. And just like that, Photoshop is now on your side, working to stop those Adobe 98 discrepancies for those of you bringing your images to a lab to have printed.